Here we go, the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. No, it's not. It's actually 3.6 liter VVT, the Pentastar engine. Dodge Challenger fits in, it's 2014 year made. And we have a fault codes. Fault codes normally look, it's P0642. This is the biggest fault. If you find this fault, sensor reference voltage one circuit low. Uh, actually, sometimes you will see then the bad is ECU. So what we did, we just keep digging in because you don't have actually, yes, you have accelerator pedal, you have throttle and stuff, a lot of things, manifold pressure sensor and blah, blah, blah. But P06 42 the sensor reference voltage circuit one uh, is low that means you have short and the short where you can find is a oil filter oil cooler and behind that you have an oil pressure sensor and the client said uh, the pressure on the gauge was showing the light then you have a pressure and look we have a sensor one which one is just for temperature and this is for the pressure and normally these sensor have five uh, volt system okay and three three pins look on other side but um blinky blinky yes you already understand what was going on in here so i will let you get in a little bit closer but you already see yes you have completely so shortage so completely shortage and everything goes like you have basically to the ground short uh positive to the ground and the ecu what it does it goes automatically into the limp mode what the ECU electronic control unit sees then there is a short to ground or short to negative voltage okay and that's why it gives you this fault code this fault code this one is p0642 sensor reference voltage and it automatically shut off the 5 volt line and you try to measure the sensor voltage like in this case this is an ex example for um, the throttle body and uh, there should be two lines with 5 volts uh, we still left only one line with 5 volts the ECU is not letting out a 5 volts to the uh, component this is just because of a short somewhere, it gives a fault code, then there is a short circuit in 5 volt line and it's automatically the transistor uh, switching, switches off the uh, port for the, the sensor, whatever, it, uh, like uh, for the throttle body for this example or for the accelerator pedal sensor, it gives you the fault code and it will not allow to push out the 5 volts as long as there is a short circuit and this definitely uh, sometimes yes i don't know why it's getting in here but as you can see it pretty much it's pretty much short even you can see this uh, aluminium volume yes aluminium volume it gives more short to this point and uh, you see this is a little bit jammed in here so this is for the oil pressure sensor okay oil pressure sensor to get there you need to remove the intake top uh injectors remove it not a big deal just a couple bolts get these things out and you will get and you will probably find this is your problem the oil pressure sensor and that's it you just need to fix that and we think we can go on the full power and full throttle otherwise you have no power car is completely limp mode the gearbox is not switching at all this is how it looks like from the top so uh, now we did a little bit of a research of ECU what it cues the 5 volt problem and actually that one thing is you need to definitely check these um, exhausted ones which one goes like for the valve systematically it's a valvetronic one the sensor ones which is located on the front of a uh, uh, camshaft position sensors okay so this is all linked to the oil pressure sensor and if you get with the oscilloscope uh, if you measure actually the uh, output of these ones it's very easy you just put on the one side in here another one in here and measure the signals but before that of course you need to connect them on the ground but that's a not big deal the biggest deal is what i like to show you is which one definitely need to be repaired and fixed look let me pop the light in okay this one here you can see i try to zoom this thing in but if i can zoom it not the easy way but this is the eprom side which one is 36 ab so this eprom is like 24 c04 this is the same eprom type and it's located just in here so it controls the processor and the memory of a processor and the fault codes is being written into the this flash side 
because the actually it gives you the fault codes and it uh, blocks the output of 4 or 5 voltage if it sees the short somewhere so that's why we open the ECUs we got another one and it still be able to just replace the EEPROM and you will get this thing running again on this ECU which one is still all on as you can see we did measurement and we just basically what we done we read the EEPROM from this read and write into the this with just simple programmer you can do it whatever actually it's just like a car prog or it can be actually a mini prog or it can be x prog whatever uh, you just read the eprom and write to a good one to sorry to a bad one and then install just back in the place this is the thing what you need to uh, prepare and then the processor reads then there's no fault codes in the eprom and it will open again the 5 volt system and when the 5 volt system is open you can check it with the oscilloscope and it have to run again another thing you can of course do the 6 kilo ohm resistance check this is another thing what you can do on these ones but uh, the best ones uh, this is like a diode modes uh, diode uh, bridge diode bridge can be blow it but in this case nothing is blow it it's just lock it into the eprom and it not allows you to 5 volt system be reassembled again this ECU is a how to say is a good ECU actually there's like a stone age ECU but uh, also can they be rebuilt and repaired no problems at all so this is the one in here and uh, now we're gonna solder that thing back together we read it out from this one of course you check the all uh, water damage probably or some stuff like that in your case but in our case just this solved the problem and all runs good so at the moment everything on the top is done all the replace the rubbers under the intake manifold uh, all the way around this uh, short ground is connected and now we see there is a fault code which only says 21 27 21 22 and it still have to be a 20 Actually 2115 and uh, 2116 and you cannot you try to delete the fault codes but you cannot delete them all just because you need to do a synchronize with the throttle body and the electrolytal pedal so both of them need to be synchronized how to do that stuff just click back and when you go to the, the not the DTC information but you go on the mine menu on the mine menu you need to go like uh, special functions and into the special functions you see the actually learn etc uh, learn etc means the uh, learn electronic total control unit so you click on that and we need uh, somebody to just uh, or you can do by your own actually sit in just car and uh, performs this function and change the state of the vehicle please exercise cautions so just click ok this feature will learn tp voltage and accelerator pedal position uh, voltage so this is the main thing which will need to be done uh, to synchronize these two two things mm, so go in here just go into the car so let's go to special functions okay special functions and in here you can see the learn etc and yes we go like accept and this feature will learn yes throttle pedal voltage and accelerator pedal voltage click ok if the ambient temperature is too low uh, please warm up the vehicle for some time before uh, performing this function otherwise the more functional fail and fault code will be apart we click ok press and hold the accelerator pedal uh, to the floor so that's what we do just press and hold it straight to the floor and uh, yes we need in the same time I somehow put it in here and you need to click I think just need to click ok button let me hold this thing down but it's not holding the down where are we gonna put this thing probably in here no let's put like this <laughs> i don't know why this thing is holding down click ok and wait hold accelerator pedal firmly into the floor yes that's what we're doing we're holding down to the firmly to the floor uh, release accelerator pedal and press ok we release it ok uh, hand off the leg off ok press ok button do not touch the accelerator pedal uh, so we're not touching anything at the moment not touching anything uh, it is still learn completed just press ok now and learn pass it press ok button ok and now because before you do this all you don't have actually accelerator pedal at all so we go like um, backwards and we read fault codes DTC information and there is no DTCs is automatically go off but if not just to be sure go back and just press um, 
clear fold codes okay just clear fold codes and clear fold codes completed job done and uh, read fold codes DTC information no DTCs and now what you need to do is just start the vehicle lovely the check engine light go out oh tire pressure go out as well so and uh, actually we done already all is fixed all is good we connected another one look on this one beast this one I got a uh, actually real white body this one is standard one which one is 2014 year made but actually both of them ECUs is pretty similar but there is some differences inside so we've this got the different processor in so that one is another thing is I got a different processor in but the throttle body is the same the accelerator throttle pedal sensor is the same so all is pretty much the same but if you got the good diagnostic tool okay diagnostic tools can be ordered right now just called in whatsapp right on text and uh, can all fix be easy and pretty easy so and now it's working pretty good uh, as you know both of them have these 3.6 uh, vvt pentastar engine in and uh, i think so i just pop this thing up and you will see what we will have inside let me pop the ccu on one side and just like go that but actually uh, what I can tell you is a pretty good story uh, the client said the a car basically stops stops just like immediately it stop it uh, it don't got actually any more throttle so if you try to kick it down you cannot kick it down because it don't have acceleration yeah so we was thinking where that problem is but actually the problem was pretty much i would say easy and uh, the thing was why you missing uh, the signal with the throttle body i will show you again like i showed you in the video yes you saw then the wires under the uh, intake manifold because you need to remove completely intake manifold off the top bit the bottom bit just don't forget to buy a new seals because seals sometimes go bad and uh, it has no communication with the throttle valve it have to be in these two wires the first one and the second one they have to be plus five volts okay so uh and the same you need to do on the accelerator pedal if you measure there and if you not see the five volts then problem is inside of a electronic control unit it goes into the limp mode and it gives you error on the diagnostic tool and gives you the limp mode yes you don't have a throttle pedal anymore and that's the reason uh, what you need to do is find the short circuit and always find the fucking short circuit because the short circuit usually is a lot of problems it uh, gives the problems with the ECU so that's why the ECU can go bad it uh, can go out of the uh, power source because exhaust transistors is locking down so it means it's locked down and it's not giving out any more 5 volts line so 5 voltage completely blocked we did find the solution how to get from the other control unit the good EEPROM which one is not locked and replace just with the flashing it with the flashing not the physically but with the flashing and at the same time we can use the original ECU and we can use the used one ECU and it's fully repaired fully restored short circuits must be all cleared out because if you stay some short circuits somewhere then probably your problem will come back sometime can be done but this is done cool, uh, pretty much okay and uh, I don't know if I pop this thing up or no yes it pops out look on these ones lovely isn't it actually I don't like them but anyway look uh, this have a cover on but if you put the cover on both of them you will not see any big difference uh, so all is VVT system is the same the ECU is located all the same the wiring the shuttle body all is pretty much the same as you can see one and another one is completely the same so we go and get a cover and uh, just about the inside if you come in here come have a look and I will show you what we have inside inside this is a 2018 year vehicle but technology is mostly all the same as you can he see here and now let's pop in to another one and this is a 2014 I would say I like this style very much this is probably even better than the new one because the old school style is the best one I'm not telling about nothing about the new electric ones the electric power and the light a light the light is just 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 best one and uh, okay here you go the cover so let's put this cover back on 
and uh, mostly yes we need to still clean some dust off dusty rusty no rusty just dusty and uh, put this thing back together on again and as you can see it gives actually exactly all pretty much the same wiring is different yes the pinout uh, is can be different and uh, actually there is some all other modifications get, can which ones can be different but mostly all is the same because this is a lovely good dodge challenger car what i can tell you now is uh, i think so thanks for watching good luck with these vehicles we love these cars these are very powerful cars and see you in a fast or further future thanks for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you next time